What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. We've got a few things to go over today with rollouts, the Microsoft deal, and of course our games for the week. So we're not going to waste any time, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, starting with the six games we've got for this week. So the first of our six games this week is Atomic Heart. It's a new release over on Steam for February 20th. I've actually been playing this game a good bit since its release on Xbox and on GeForce Now and on my PC and Steam Deck, and it's actually been a pretty fun title so far. And if you're a fan of like the Bioshock style games and that type of thing, it might be up your alley. It's definitely a game that's pretty easy to run and well optimized. So no matter what tier of GeForce Now you're on, you should be able to get some pretty decent performance out of Atomic Heart. Now our second game is Blood Bowl 3. This is a new release for the Epic Game Store and for Steam for February 23rd. I'm definitely picking this one up. Um, I've played the previous Blood Bowl games. It's like a turn-based style football game and they tend to be pretty fun for the most part. So for 20 bucks or so, 20, 30 bucks, I think I'll be grabbing this one up and giving it a shot and trying it out over on GFN. Our third game is another new release for February 23rd over on Steam, Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. You create and manage your dream restaurant, menus, purchasing, decor, staff, equipment, customers, all of that, and of course, the cooking. Experience the daily life of a restaurateur and earn your awards from the Michelin Guide. Our fourth game is another new release for February 23rd over on Steam with Sons of the Forest. Sent to find a missing billionaire on a remote island, you find yourself in a cannibal infested hellscape. Craft, build, and struggle to survive alone or with friends in this terrifying new open world survival horror simulator. I've seen a lot of decent things about this game, a little bit of hype behind it. I'm definitely going to pick it up and give it a shot myself. I think it's going to be about 30 bucks so i'm not sure if i'm gonna make any videos on it or not we'll we'll see here but i'm definitely gonna grab this one up and give it a shot on gfn and over on the steam deck and our fifth game this week is ember knights this came out april 20th of last year in 2022 ember knights is an action roguelite for one to four players where you play as legendary knights the last spark of hope against the mad sorcerer praxis and his hordes of unwavering fiends Wield weapons and skills, build synergies with game-changing relics, and free the universe from Praxis's corruption. And our sixth and final game for this week is over on the Epic Game Store, originally released March 18th of 2021 with Cartel Tycoon. I believe we announced this for Steam uh, earlier on as well. Cartoon Cartel Tycoon is a survival business sim inspired by the 80s narco trade. Expand and conquer, fight off rival cartels, and evade the authorities. Earn people's loyalty and strive to overcome the doom fate of a power-hungry drug lord. All right, guys, that's your six games for this week. Now, we've also got another data center rolling out with the 4080s over in Paris. So if you've been waiting for that one to go live, that should be happening now. And for those of us waiting for the Northeast over here in the US, hopefully that one will be coming soon. You can definitely keep an eye out here every single week on Thursday and we'll announce those. All right, now we've got that NVIDIA Microsoft deal. This is a 10 year deal to bring Xbox games over to GeForce Now. This is really exciting for me as I've been a big time Xbox gamer since the OG and GeForce Now has definitely become my favorite cl cloud gaming service, especially as a PC gamer. Now, if the Activision go deal goes through, we could be looking at games like Call of Duty and Diablo and Overwatch. Of course, we got games from Bethesda Studios and first party titles like Halo and Forza and a ton of franchises and content that already exist and upcoming that could be really exciting for GeForce now. As far as adding games, it looks like they'll start doing that over the next few weeks at a couple a time, like every week or so, and that this could take somewhere between 6 and 12 months to enable the whole existing catalog, at least from what they're saying there is an estimate. There aren't any announcements on Game Pass yet as to whether or not that's going to be tied in. Right now, they specifically have said purchases, but we'll have to see what happens with that as they haven't really announced anything and we'll need more clarification about Game Pass. But this is definitely great news for Xbox as this is a great way for them to offer a much better cloud service than what they've got currently going on. I do enjoy xCloud, but GeForce Now is definitely where it's at. And for their PC games, this is going to be great. And it's also awesome for NVIDIA to get the content over onto GeForce Now. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in those comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for coming to watch. And I'll see you guys in the next one.